It's okay, we all know it was yours to begin with. And Good morning, friends, and welcome to a cozy self-care vlog. I put up a post or a poll earlier this week on my community page of my YouTube channel. So cool how you could do that now. Um, because I just wasn't sure what kind of video I wanted to make this week. So I had you guys vote, and you chose self-care. And I am honestly so happy that that's what you chose. I would have been so excited to make any other videos, but I didn't realize or maybe I did. This fall has been a really, really wonderful fall in so many ways, but recently I've been feeling super, super anxious and there's been a lot of stress in my life. And so, I don't know about you and I'm not sure why it is, but whenever I get really anxious, it seems that my self-care is the first thing to fall off. <laughs> like, it's always the first thing that I sacrifice. And in general, I don't like how we feel guilty when we take time for ourselves and like we have to have worked really hard to earn it. For some reason, it is entirely acceptable to completely exhaust yourself while working, but then not always okay to just pause and relax and enjoy yourself. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's just me. Hustle culture is a very real thing, but so are you, and so is your health, and so is your well-being, and as I'm always saying, you deserve to enjoy your life, and an essential ingredient in the enjoyment of life is your own well-being. As such, I think that I am overdue for a self-care reset and organization day, which is what we're gonna do today. That means we're going to go for a rainy, whimsical forest walk, my most favorite form of therapy. We're gonna clean and declutter the house. We're gonna organize this month's to-dos as well as sort through my computer and phone. We're gonna enjoy some hearty food and then also just relax like to um, maybe do like a spa night and watch a movie. We'll see. It's going to be great. I'm saying we. It's all me that's going to be doing this stuff, but you all are very much here with me. I really, really enjoyed my morning. It is pouring rain outside, which makes for the coziest of mornings. I slept in a bit with Landon and Rue, and then I started my morning off by journaling, which always, 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 without fail, helps me to feel so much better. After that, I read today's poems for a poem for every day of autumn, and I just really enjoy starting my days off with reading poetry. They just provide, like, it's, it's relaxing, first of all, and then it gives you a mindset or a perspective to go into the day with. And then I did a bit of art just for fun. So I'm trying to do something artsy every single day because if you've been here for a while, you'll know that I've been teaching myself how to draw the past two years. And I've recently launched an illustration tier on my Patreon and I'm still very much a beginner. And as such, I've made it a goal to just do something artsy and illustrated illustration related every single day and so last night I um, mixed some paint just experimentally and it came out to be this really really beautiful teal like I was going for kind of a black and it is super dark and almost black but it's got these bluish green undertones that I just thought were really beautiful and I immediately wanted to put yellow on it and so I decided to put these leaves that I've collected over the past few autumns. I have a touch of yellow with a dark background and it's so satisfying. It's so fun and really simple, but I love the color and the texture of the paint as well as the texture of the leaves. And it's also just really satisfying making art with 
nature which by the way friends i am doing my specimen frames again this year i will launch the new collection by the end of the month and i'm so excited while i was uh looking through my book of leaves i found this guy and if you've been here for a year do you remember it was almost a year ago exactly maybe a little more that i found this leaf in the backyard and it's massive it can also be a scandalous top <laughs> it's so big and leaves like these are everywhere in portland i love how just massive and old the trees are so i kept it and i pressed it and if you've been here since i found it thank you so very much friend for sticking around it feels so good to have this community and to be at a point where i've made enough videos and have been doing this for like over two years now that i could have inside jokes with you all <laughs> and then have become like actual friends with those of you who have been here since the beginning and regularly comment and who have become patrons oh, it is the best feeling in the world so thank you i also got a little bit of work done this morning i finished my november postcard and sticker and i got them ordered this morning and i'm so happy with how they've turned out i'll pop them up right here here's the november postcard I'm really drawn to navy blue and yellow this month, apparently. And then here's the sticker. I couldn't help myself. I mean, look at me. I'm already in Christmas pajamas. So this sticker is a bit festive and also just really, really cozy. So if you like my postcard and my sticker and are interested in receiving monthly postcards and stickers from me, sign up for my cinnamon and clove tier on Patreon. And as long as you sign up by the very end of November, you will receive this postcard and sticker. Without further ado, friends, let's go practice some self-care. I'm gonna go ahead and get changed. It's still pouring rain outside, but if you live in Portland, Oregon, and you let the rain prevent you from living your life, you'll never leave the house. <laughs> so button up, grab your coziest of cozy blankets, make yourself a heartwarming cup of tea. Let's get to it, friends. A lot of times when I'm out in the forest, well, just a lot, oh, it's slippery. Um, you'll see me taking very big, deep breaths. And that's because I like to challenge myself to take 10 deep breaths in a row whenever I think about it. And it's actually quite difficult. There's so many distractions that come up.
we are back it was so much fun i've changed into some dry clothes because it was very wet but something about forest walks in the rain makes them all the more magical and i mentioned in a recent patreon video that i can't help but become like a little kid when i walk through the forest because there's so much that just strikes my awe or wonder from like owls and mushrooms and tiny pine cones to giant trees and moss and ferns and everything of the sort it is it's just it feels really good to be entirely in awe for a good 45 minutes to an hour and rue Monsieur rue had so much fun i also catch myself looking up a lot whenever i'm in the forest which is really good because I feel like I spend 80% of my time looking down <laughs> not quite like that but just like looking down at my phone or looking down at my laptop or my journal or my art whatever it is I'm doing even reading I'm like looking down but for the hour that I'm in the forest I'm just like this the entire time <sighs> it feels so good walking through the forest is like I said my most favorite form of therapy. I always feel better afterwards. And the forests in Portland, Oregon are absolutely amazing. You do not have to travel far to find a forest like the one that I was just in. I mean, we have Forest Park, we have Marquam, we have Tryon, there's Washington. They're all over the city. It is so wonderful how much nature and the city exist together. So now that I've journaled out my thoughts and then had a little forest shower, literally and metaphorically, I'm feeling energized and ready to clean the house. Hedge of angels come to corners with me Riddle out every shadow you see Ring a bell, shake a crawl Give them hell, whatever the cost Some and all love your rivalry Say a word against the Indies and sea
good to have a clean home. It is so true that when your space is clean and organized, it helps your mental state immensely. So I'm really happy to have spent the bulk of today cleaning the house and I'm now finished. And so the next thing on my to-do list is to brain dump everything. So my space is clean. I had my refreshing forest walk this morning and my journaling. And now my mind needs to be decluttered. So I have this planner and I made a collage on the front of it. I almost just poked my eye out. Um, but the collage is really bright and colorful. It makes me so happy. It's so very whimsical. That's Julie Andrews. And then this guy, this is from an article that um, studied previous attempts at submarines when humans were trying to figure out a way to explore our oceans underwater. Can you imagine, can you imagine being part of that experimental group? <laughs> like the person that went into the water in experimental submarines. Anyways, I have this uh, planner of sorts and every single month I do a giant brain dump and it just feels good to get everything out on paper so that it's not in my head. So this was last month's brain dump and oh my goodness, you guys, it felt impossible. I mean, it's both like cathartic, getting it all out on paper, but then also kind of overwhelming seeing visually all you have to do. So I'm going to create my November brain dump and then I'm gonna go through and organize my computer and phone, which is something that I like to do every four months or so. And it's been, how many months has it been? I think the last time I did it was March. So, oh my goodness, it's been about eight months. So yes, way overdue, let's get to it. It's such a mix of emotions. It feels so good to just get it all out. However, looking at this list, I feel overwhelmed, but also really, really excited. I'm so excited about all the good things to come. All right, everything has been sorted and organized. Oh my goodness, I did the math. Hold on, I can't remember how many gigs. I cleared 134 gigabytes of storage on my computer through that organization process. I transferred so many videos and files and everything of the sort onto my external hard drive and then was able to clear it off of my computer. 
Ah, so satisfying. And then I went ahead and deleted pictures on my phone and sorted old text messages and was able to free up five gigabytes of space on my phone. That was so needed and feels so good. So it's been a really good day. All sorts of productive in a declutter kind of way and I'm feeling so good. And now, one of my favorite ways to practice self-care is to eat hearty, heartwarming food. So, Landon's just gotten home from work and we're going to make a vegan curry. go with plaid really nicely. <laughs> I have to agree. Yeah, that one. I'm going the really small one. Wow, it looks so funny on you. <laughs> Aprons mean serious business, Lynn. <laughs> I think the tofu is ready. Okay. Oh, it looks ready. Oh man. Got a 9.5 out of 10 from me and a 9.2 out of 10 from Landon. Uh, I would so recommend making yourself a hot curry on a cold fall slash winter night. Um, yeah, I'm gonna lay here for a few minutes because I simply can't move. And then we're gonna go for a night walk to walk off some of this food. And then another one of my favorite self-care practices is to take a luxuriously hot bubble bath. Oh, it's so soothing. I love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a hot bubble bath and probably mm, can't decide if I wanna read or watch a YouTube video. Feeling pretty tired, so I think I might go YouTube video. And afterwards, I think Landon and I might watch a cozy movie. So, first though, we gotta walk off some of this food. Mm -hmm. 